everybody. It is, what day is it? I lose track sometimes. I think it's Thursday. Pretty sure it's Thursday. And it's another day that's good for some drawing. Don't you think? We're staying indoors, staying safe, staying healthy. And it's a good opportunity to learn some new things. What we like to do here is draw race cars. We've got a special drawing for you today. And uh, it's going to be fun because this weekend we're racing in the state of Kentucky. Okay? That's where NASCAR is racing. Of course, this is the Joe Gibbs Racing page. I'm Boris, by the way, working for Joe Gibbs Racing. And I also like drawing. So I figured, why not loop you all in on this and have some fun during the week in between our races while we're staying home, having some lunch. All right. Here's the deal, though. We're racing in Kentucky. And there's something very special about Kentucky for Joe Gibbs Racing and for our partners at Toyota. Because believe it or not, the Toyota Camry that we race in the Cup Series is built, manufactured, in Kentucky. So this is kind of like a, a homecoming for us. It's a home race for the Toyota Camry, so it's a very special weekend, and we very much want to win this race in our Camrys, okay? So, Georgetown, Kentucky, that's where the Camrys are built. Millions and millions of them have been built there. We're going to draw the first one that was built there, and then the latest one that was built there, okay? So uh, we're going to draw the 19, 1988 Camry, and then we're going to draw the 2020 Camry. All right? But first, I have a little show and tell. A lady, nice lady named Helen, tweeted me and told me that her, uh, her son, Archie, had broken his collarbone. He's right-handed, but he broke his collarbone, and he can only draw with his left hand. And I wanted to show you the great drawings he did, muscling through that, powering through that, even though... He had, uh, he had a little injury there. He toughed through it, and he drew with his left hand. Have you ever tried, if you're right-handed, have you tried drawing with your left hand? If you're left-handed, have you tried drawing with your right hand? For most people, that is a very difficult thing to do, and it can be very frustrating and challenging, easy to give up, but Archie, look at this. He did not give up. Did a little Lightning McQueen drawing there. Dude did a great job of drawing uh, Denny Hamlin's car. Let me, let me see this tweet, just to remind myself how old he is five years old so Archie just he's in Scotland and uh, when we wanted to say how proud we are of him and hope you get well soon but great job Archie look at look at those drawings that, that is awesome great coloring too he didn't even stop at the drawing he went in there and colored so really good job and thank you to, to Helen his mom for sending those in out there in Scotland watching from across the pond as we say it's really great to see that you're an inspiration Archie and I appreciate you watching well let's look at some pictures of the Camry so this is a Toyota Camry being built there in Kentucky, where we're going to race this weekend. I actually got the chance to visit this plant with some of our drivers a few years ago, and I was amazed. It's an awesome place. This was one of my favorite spots. This is where they check the paint. Look at all those lights. Each one of those bars are lights, and they cast this really cool design over the car. But that's so all these people can check the quality of the paint, make sure there's no issues they need to repair before they sell the car. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And then, this is a picture of the very first Camry that came off the line in Kentucky, 1988. And so we're going to draw these two cars side by side. So you can kind of see the difference and see how artists have designed them back then and how they designed them now. So if, if you're ready, I'm ready, why don't we get started with our drawings? I'm going to start a fresh sheet of paper here and I'm going to draw a line at the bottom just to give our cars some earth to stand on. Give them a road here, okay? So on the left half, we're gonna draw the 1988 Camry, and on the right half, we're gonna draw the 2020 Camry, the, the first one at, at Georgetown, Kentucky, and the latest one at Georgetown, Kentucky, okay? So get your line drawn, get it ready. It doesn't have to be straight. Mine's angled a little bit, that's okay. But we're, uh, we're getting ready to draw here. I'm gonna see who's out there while you're getting ready. See who's out there watching. Thank you for all the retweets and all the comments and the hearts. We're going to have a fun time today. There's Caroline out there, Matthew and Danny. Caroline says Kentucky is her home track. Very cool. There's JJ Joe. There's Lynette. All right. Lots of people watching. Let's get to drawing. So what we like to do is we like to start with simple shapes and then chisel them away and form our cars out of that. Okay. So I am going to draw two rectangles side by side. 
The bottom of the rectangle is going to be the ground that we already drew. The top is going to be the roof of the car. Just like that. And we're going to do a front view. So we're only going to see the nose, the front of our cars today. Alright. So go ahead and draw your rectangles about like that. Now, most of you probably know, but some of you may not, but a rectangle obviously is a little wider than a square, so make sure you make it a little wider this way and not perfectly square. Make it a little wider, because it's a car, right? So if this was, there's, there's uh, Kyle Busch's Camry. It fits into that box. See, look at this. Fits into that box a little like that. It's, it's a wide angle, not a tight one. So make sure you draw that like that. There's Andrew. He's in Washington. It's pretty far away too, Andrew. How's, how's it going over there? I'm in North Carolina. Glad to see everybody watching from around the world. Archie, we just showed some of his work. He's in Scotland. So it doesn't matter where you are. We can enjoy this drawing, can't we? All right. There's Cindy says, good job, Archie. I agree. What's up, Devin? Oh, Devin has a good idea. He says we should split a car in half sometime and do a street Camry and a race car Camry on one half. We'll have to do that. That's a good idea, Devin. All right, now for each of these cars, I want you to cut the box that you did here in half like this, okay? It's not perfectly in half. The bottom one's going to be a little bit taller than the top one. But, uh, but just like that, go ahead and cut it in half. And for the one on the right, that's going to be the 2020. I'll write it up here, see? 2020 Camry. This one's going to be 1988. The windshield's going to be a little bit narrower, so that top box needs to be a little narrower on the 2020 one, okay? That's just the way the cars have changed a little bit. All right. Andrew says it's raining as usual in Washington. That's okay. That's all right. It makes it unique, right? Mike's in Oregon. Okay, a lot of West Westerners out there. All right. I'm going to take a look at my 1988 Camry because that's the one we're going to start on. So, as you'll see, the 1988 Camry had much more, uh, much more straight lines in it. So if you need a ruler, you might want to get that ruler out. All right, here we go. I want you to notice the differences between our cars here. So we have this line, that's going to be the top of the hood. All right. Now I want you to draw another line dividing that line like that. Okay. And that's going to be the top of our bumper for our 1988 Camry. All right. As we're drawing this, I want you to pay attention to what's different about the newer cars compared to the older cars. Okay. Next, let's get those headlights and that grill in there. So, once again, we're going to have to divide the middle line in half, right in the middle, right about here, okay? So, right there in the middle, draw a line in half of that middle box. I know there's a lot of lines, a lot of boxes, but you got one, two, three rectangles. In the second rectangle, draw a line in the middle like that. This is going to be our 1988 Toyota Camry. Coming off the assembly line. All right. Thanks for all the comments and the hearts and the thumbs up. I can see them all. I, got, I like to go back and read them. And thanks for posting your drawings so I can share them. Next, let's get those headlights in there. What do you say? So the headlight, I'm going to zoom in on our 1988. Draw a line that kind of comes like this. Make this look a little bit like a boat, that middle grill. And then you have it come up just a little bit above on either side. And then it goes all the way across, basically straight. And then at the sides, it comes down like this. Goes all the way across, and then comes down like this. All right. Looking good. This line under it gets a little thicker. That's, that's our, uh, our grill, or excuse me, our bumper. Bumper line right there. They had a little dark line there, so we'll put that in there. All right. Next, we have to divide the bottom line in half. I know we're, we have all these boxes and we keep dividing them in half, but that's just the way it works with these car designs. So draw a line down here. This is going to be the bottom of the bumper. Okay. The bottom of the bumper right there. All right. It's coming together. We're getting there. 
Next, what do we need to do? I want you to take the sides here and I want you to follow them up and make angled lines like this for our windshield, our front windshield, something like that. Okay? And our roof. So I'm going to use a different color here just so you can see it. I'm going to use red. We have a lot of black lines going on, but there's the lines we chopped into. Now we're going to have to erase this outside box. If you can't erase it, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you a trick, okay? If you can erase it, you erase the outside boxes. If not, I'm going to show you a trick that, that does not require an eraser. It's almost like magic. All right, now that you have seen those windshield lines, I'm going to fill them in in black just so you don't get confused. All right. The roof can have kind of a curve to it. Give it a little curve. There we go. I'm going to zoom out so we can see what we're looking at here. All right. That 1988 camera is almost done, actually. We just need to have a couple turn signal lights in here like this. Just little rectangles like that. Okay? That's looking pretty good, isn't it? All right. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Now, if you cannot erase this outside bounding box, what we're going to do is we're going to make this a garage door. Okay? And we're going to fill it in with black. Because what we're drawing here are the cars coming off the assembly line. And assembly line just means the place where people put all the cars together. So, at the end of it, it rolls out to the delivery area, right? So, we can turn that into a garage. So all you have to do is you just need to make it a little higher, a little taller, like this. And I can erase my date here. We can add that in later if we need to, but that's just so you know which one I'm working on. Make that garage a little bit taller. And then you can fill it in in black like this. And now it looks like a garage bay, like it's coming out of a building after having been built. So we're just coloring around the windshield, angling down like that, angling like this. If you're just joining us, we're drawing this because we are racing in Kentucky this weekend. And we race Toyota Camrys, of course, at Joe Gibbs Racing. And so we figured we should draw the Toyota Camrys being built. So we're drawing the first Camry built in Georgetown, Kentucky, and we're drawing the latest Camry built in Georgetown, Kentucky. This is the 1988, and over here is going to be the 2020. Now, I was born in 1985. Uh, when were you born? So I'm just a little bit older than this car, just a little bit. My sister was actually born in 1988, though, so there you go. All right, so let's get back to these headlights. I'm going to divide them in half over here. And if you've ever drawn headlights with me, you know they're one of my favorite things to draw because you can kind of be free and sketchy and squiggly. You don't have to follow these perfect lines. So there's a there's a bulb in here, but I like to just kind of sketch these lines. See this? Look at that. I just sort of sort of sketch these lines in here and make it look like glass and plastic and lenses. So just kind of do these sketchy lines like that and then follow them over here, stay inside the box, and it ends up looking pretty good. It ends up looking like like glass or like plastic or lenses or things like that. So that's a little secret. Just kind of stay light. Now the grill in the middle is just a bunch of lines that go across. So just draw some skinny lines like this. Just make them go across like that. Okay? There you go. And now you have a pretty good grill for that 1988 Camry. I'd say about half of our viewers here were around in 1988, and half of them were not. That's what I would say. Half of them were probably younger. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm being a little too high on that. Maybe there's more people that weren't around in 1988 watching than I know about. All right. But the Toyota Camry was around back then, so I'm just going to finish off the windshield here. And we do need to put our our tires in here, so our tires are just going to be little spaces like that. See that? Just little rectangles down here. We can only see a little part of them. They're down there at the bottom. 
All right. Well, our 1988 car's almost done. It's looking pretty good, don't you think? I'm going to read some more comments while you're finishing that one up, and then we'll get started on our 2020 Camry. A lot of comments out there. I appreciate it. All the nice things. The thumbs up. There's Tony and Lynn. There's Eric and Andrew and Mike. They're all watching. I appreciate that. We're having some fun here. We're almost done with our 1988. Just some more squiggles in our turn signal lights down there. And we'll color some stuff in at the end. All right. We're going to leave that car white, okay? Let's see here. I think it's time we started our 2020 Camry, don't you think? All right. Let's see here. I am going to... First, I'm going to round the top of the hood like this. There we go. By the way, if you're just joining us, I showed some cool artwork by Archie, our five-year-old viewer. So once we're done here, go watch the replay and see some of his work. He has an amazing story where he broke his collarbone, but he didn't give up. He didn't stop drawing. He's right-handed, but he decided to draw with his left hand instead, and he did a really good job. It's a really hard thing to do, but he did it. All right, there's the top of our hood. Next, we're going to angle in our windshield like this, kind of like the roof of a house. We're going to go up like that to the top line, okay? There we go. And like the other one, you can curve it up a bit if you want to. Give it a little curve. It's not a perfect square angle up there, so give it a little curve like that. And then I'm going to round the bottom a little bit too. Now with our race cars, I tell you what, we would bring that race car body right down to that ground line. But with the street cars, we're going to leave some room because we don't want to be scraping things on the street car, right? On the on the race car, we fix them every week. We don't we don't want to be fixing our street cars every week. So they, they raise them up a little bit more. Give it a little more clearance. So we'll do that. Okay. I'm going to add those tires in there at the bottom. I'm kind of going backwards from what we did, but since we already learned how to do it, we can do it a little quicker on this one, right? There we go. There's our tires. Okay. So we drew our 1988, a lot of straight lines in there, a little more angled, a little more boxy, but the 2020, that's going to be a different animal. It's, it's much more aggressive front end, a lot more angles, kind of a mean, fast look to it, so we're going to make sure we get that in there this time. All right, here we go. Let's try this. So the top line is going to be a little bit like a V, not a really sharp V, but a like a laid open book, like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay open that book like that. See this? And it comes to a point in the middle and it goes back up. See how much different that is from the 1988 version? So as you can see, it's kinda like this, right? It's not a straight line. It's an angled line, two angles, like a triangle without a, without a top. All right. Then what I want you to do is I want you to come down here, make a little curve for the headlight, and then come all the way down like that, and then make another triangular shape back like this. Woo! Kind of like an X going on over there. You see that? Kind of like a pair of scissors. Okay? See, like that. Now we need to do that on the other side, too. Isn't it amazing how designs change and technology changes and people come up with new and cool designs, but sometimes they take cues and hints and they adopt things from old designs and put them into new designs. So it's not completely new. It's something that we learn to do and we, we work on it all the time, but we're just having fun here looking at the differences between the 1988 Camry and the 2020. Both built in Kentucky, by the way, where we're racing this weekend. That's why we're drawing these. All right. There's Sean. Sean says he had a 1992 Camry. All right. All right. Now, let's see. What's next? I'm going to put the little Toyota Circle logo in there just to hold a space for us, and that's going to give us our center point. That's really going to help us. But I'm going to finish off these headlights, and they go something like this. 
kind of like a butter knife blade or, or something like that, but they, they curve in like this and they create kind of a blade shape. So make sure you get that in there. I had a picture of it. Let me, let me pull that back up. There you go. See that? See how they, they make kind of a blade shape there? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Aggressive front end. All right, let's get back to the drawing board here. All right. Back over here, we have some kind of like some vents for airflow and keep things cool. And they go over there like that. I'm going to shade those in dark so we can kind of tell them apart from our sheet metal. I'm going to make this car blue. And then, really, there's a lot of a of dark grill area up here, so we need to distinguish that. And what we need to do is we need to draw a line all the way across and then go back under the Toyota logo and then go back up again to the middle of the headlight. And this is going to be a body color, so the same color as the rest of the body of our car. That'll fill in, but pretty much the rest of it is going to be gray on the nose here. Really aggressive front end design. So keep that like that. Finish this line off. We're going to have to fill in a lot, but first I'm going to fill in those headlights again. We just put in a bulb and some squiggles. Again, they don't have to be perfect. That's what I like about headlights is we can just draw some squiggles and sketch it in and scribble it in. And it makes it look like glass. All right. Don't forget the roof up there, the windshield line. And there's one thing I forgot on here that we don't have on race cars that I forgot on both cars. I'm going to have to add them back into the 1988. You know what that is? Anybody know? Side mirrors. That's right. That's right. Forgot the side mirrors on there. What's up, Greg? Greg has some good questions about aerodynamics. He asks, which car is the most aerodynamic? Well, of these two, that's one of the technological advances is aerodynamics. So I'd say the 2020 is the most aerodynamic of these two. In NASCAR, that's always up for debate. Aerodynamics are always changing. So it's hard to say which one's the most, but I think our Camrys have proven they're pretty darn fast. Okay. I'm going to finish up the garage door for our 2020, just like we did for the 1988. And we're going to fill that in. And we're pretty much close to coloring in, so start thinking about your crayons and colored pencils. If you don't have any, you can leave it black and white and color them in on another day. Or you don't have to color it in at all. You can just keep it like this. Some people just like drawing in black and white, and that's okay. When I was a kid, that's all I drew was black and white, for the most part. All right, look at that, looking pretty good. What's up, Michelle and Michael? Good to see you. Danny says we need to put some wipers in there. That's true. Don't forget those wipers. There's one there, and there's another one. There's one there. Oh, and there's another one. All right. <clears throat> you ready to color? I'm ready to color. Done enough black and white on this one, it's time to color it in. So I'm going to choose blue. We're going to keep the 1988 in white and we're going to make the 2020 in blue. So I'm going to pick a blue here. And we are going to start coloring it in. Alright, looking good, looking good. Now you can make these cars whatever color you want to make them, but I'm going to go with red, white, and blue, and I'll show you in a minute where the red comes from. But for now, one car is going to be blue and the other one's going to be white. All right. Sometimes it's fun to color just to get your mind off other things and color things in and have your creation come to life really adds to it, doesn't it? 
All right. So that's all the blue we need for that car. JJ Joe, have a good weekend. Sally and Daniel are there. What's up, Daniel? Getting back from swim practice. No problem. You'll be able to rewind it and watch the rest. Got some cool show and tell at the beginning here. There's Greg. Greg asks, how did I learn to draw so well? Well, I had uh, good teachers and good parents that, that gave me the tools I needed, and I just practiced a lot when I was a kid. And then in school, I studied art. That's what my college degree is in. So a lot of practice, a lot of observing, looking at different things and trying to draw them. That's pretty much what I did and still do. But sometimes it's easy to get away from things you love doing and hobbies and whatnot. So that's one part of this show is taking this time in our world when things are challenging and viewing them as an opportunity to, uh, to do things that you like to do and, and to pick up old things that you haven't done in a long time. So that's how I'm trying to view it. All right. Got our wheels down there. I'm just coloring in some gray here. And then on the windshield, I'm going to draw my swoosh lines. They're just going to go like this. They're going to go up and down like this, and it's kind of going to make it look like glass. Okay? There you go. Now on our Camry, I like to choose the basic middle blue, and then I'll pick a light blue and a dark blue, and then I'll just fill in some areas around here to try to make it look shiny and make it look like an awesome paint job that it sh is sure to be. So there's some light blue I'm doing, see? I pick some areas and do light. And then I'll come in here and I'll pick a darker blue. And I'll come back in and I'll find some areas that I think need to be dark. And I'll kind of darken them up. And to me that just makes it look more like a shiny car, makes it look faster and prettier and all that. So there you go. Now on our white car, our 1988, I'm just going to pick some light grays. And I'll come back over here and I'll shade those in where I think there needs to be some some light gray in there alright there we go and you know the cool thing about making the car on the left just in black and white is what a lot of old pictures are in black and white so it kinda sets the mood for for the image I am gonna add some amber which is like an orange down here on the on the turn signals just to give it a little bit of realism all right what do you think I think it's looking pretty good don't you fill in the rest of that garage door and there you have it two cars coming off the assembly line in Georgetown Kentucky now I told you I was gonna have a red white and blue since this is a built in America kind of theme to it right well a lot of the signs and of course the Toyota logo has always had red in it. So I'm going to write that up here. I'm going to write Toyota T O in all capitals T O Y O T A Toyota and then under that I'm going to write in black, I'm going to write Georgetown. So it's like the name George, G, E, O, R, G, E. And then town, it's all one word, T, O, W, N, comma, Kentucky, which is going to be abbreviated as KY. So there you go. Just like that. We've drawn the building, one area of the big building where our Toyota Camrys have come off the assembly line where they're built in Georgetown, Kentucky, and they're getting ready to head to your town, wherever that may be. So there you go. How cool is that? Finish it off with some coloring around here. Very nice. Well, if you're just joining us, make sure you go back and watch some of the opening parts of the episode. I talk about my trip to the, the Toyota Camry plant where they build all these Camrys in Kentucky. It's very cool. And then we got our start by looking at some of Archie's drawings that he did a good job with. And then 
We drew our 1988 Camry and our 2020 Camry, both built in Kentucky. The first one and the latest one. Red, white, and blue. I thought that was fitting, don't you? I'm going to add a few more marks in here for the road that they're about to travel. And then I'm going to sign it at the bottom. And we'll call it a day. All right. What do you think? How does yours look? Make sure you post it in the comments so I can see it. And I'll do a little show and tell at some point and show all your great drawings, okay? Well, thank you so much for watching with us today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.